big free agency news just came in. And as you may or may not know, Dak Prescott just signed one of the biggest quarterback contracts in league history. And it really is kind of shocking because of all this information I can offer you and I'm going to give you. But first, make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Help me out a little bit. All that information is going to be up here. Um, enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's start this video. Now, of course, Dak Prescott, it's very, very shocking that he turned down a, a five-year, $175 million deal, which was north of $45 million in his final season of that deal. He turned that down not too long ago. It was only a couple of months ago on May 22nd, 2020, and that's why I'm kind of shocked they got this deal done. However, there's some very interesting details on what Dak Prescott said to want for his deal. And, of course, it's a lot of things that go into it. Could be the locker room room could be the ownership however they got it done today but there was a report from a lot of websites stating that the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott were still in disagreement about his next contract one year ago or exactly nine months ago pure Mike Furo of Pro football talk now of course Dak Prescott reportedly wanted four years on his deal which he wound up getting while the Cowboys wanted five Prescott was expected to sign his franchise tag last season, which he also did before he got injured, and that was something he would consider a fifth year of his contract. The franchise tag, of course, paid Dak Prescott $31.4 million, which means that he was guaranteed a big payday, and he was also one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. Now, Prescott guaranteed a huge payday because, you know, he led the Cowboys to what? three playoff berths in five seasons, so that's a very, very good thing. And if he did not get the deal done, he can always look for a long-term deal this season. And, of course, this was reported last season. So he looked for his long-term deal and ended up getting it. Dak Prescott, last year, the year before last football season, if you're talking in those terms, he came in and dropped 4,902 yards with 30 touchdowns. And despite having those huge numbers, the Cowboys only finished a measly 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah. Disappointing, Cowboys fans. Your quarterback puts up these numbers and you finish 8-8. Eight and eight. I mean, he was putting up crazy numbers this year and they were like 2-3. and three. However, Dak Prescott, that just gives you a good perspective on how good this guy was doing before he got his huge contract and how he really, really deserved it. Now, starting off the season before that gruesome leg injury, Dak Prescott was having one of the best seasons in NFL, quite possibly history. News start off the season hot with 1,856 yards, 9 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions on almost a 100 quarterback rating. And of course, if it weren't for that injury, they are predicting, according to my calculations, this guy was on route for 5,000 939.2 yards, which would have been over an NFL record. And then he was also on route for over 28 touchdowns with only 12 interceptions. Absolutely ridiculous. He also had great completion numbers for the amount of yards he threw in a matter of five weeks. He had a 68% completion percentage. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Now, some other sources that came in. The Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott, actually ended up having a second surgery on his ankle to sort of strengthen the ankle because, you know, you have that first surgery, things are a little bit flimsy. Things are a bit unsure. And he ended up having a second surgery to really strengthen his ankle, really get his ankle great. And the surgery, while not considered a setback, was definitely a concern for the Dallas Cowboys. Prescott was expected to be back in camp by this July, which of course has not happened yet. We will get progression on that injury. However, it's not considered a setback, but you have to think about it. The Dallas Cowboys paying this guy that much money, I know he deserves it, and I know he did really, really good in his first five years. However, that injury is quite concerning. That injury has ended a lot of careers, and while I'm happy for, for Dak Prescott, I really, really want him to be cautious because him and the Cowboys because this thing can easily happen again it could easily if not manage well get even worse I just want Dak Prescott to take as much of the time he needs he's gotten his big contract Dak Prescott uh coming from me you need to sit down chill out make sure your injury's fully healed before you get back to camp now of course 
Dak Prescott more surgery news. Dak Prescott originally had surgery on his ankle in October, last October, by the recording of this video, to repair a compound fracture and dislocation, which was, of course, the most gruesome injury I've watched this year. Then in December, another surgery occurred to strengthen the ankle and clean up the other previous problems. So, it was sort of a clean-up operation. The second surgery, of course, was not considered a setback. Now, Dak Prescott, I'm going to give you some uh, little things in this contract. He also has signed a four-year deal, $160 million, a NFL record, $123 million of those dollars guaranteed, and he is also the second highest paid quarterback in the league behind the best quarterback in the league, in my opinion, Patrick Mahomes. So the dude got what he wanted. He has all that money. He's one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. And another thing to consider, this guy is going to earn $75 million in his first year. $75 million of his contract. At $75 million plus $60 million, this guy is scheduled to make a lot of, a lot of money because $60 million was his signing bonus. He's scheduled to make $135 million in one season alone. That is an NFL record. $135 million this season for Dak Prescott. And he deserves every single bit of it. I'm happy for Dak Prescott. I'm glad the Cowboys got the deal done. Now, I think for the Cowboys, it's time to focus on getting Dak Prescott his team and getting him a defense. Because, man, that defense last year was hard to watch. I'm not a Cowboys fan personally, but that defense is hard to watch. Dak Prescott getting the deal done. Lots of things went into it. I'm actually kind of shocked they... Signed him this early. I'm kind of shocked that they didn't wait at least one or two weeks into the NFL season to see how he's gonna how he's gonna recover from that injury. However, NFL is a business, and they wanted to keep Dak Prescott around. They weren't able to franchise tag him again, so they wound up getting the deal done. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course. Um, you guys have a great day. Basically, I, I was having a great day. I love the fact that Dak Prescott got signed to his big deal. Man deserves it a lot. He's a quality guy, at least from what I heard from other NFL analysts. He's a he's I mean he's a great quarterback, obviously playing for the Dallas Cowboys, being one of the best quarterbacks in the league for the past couple of years. I'm really happy for Dak Prescott. But you guys, stay loved, stay blessed, have a great and marvelous day. Thank you for watching.